Hi, it's great to see you again. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Jonathan. I'm a professional exterminator and the founder of Pest Ninja. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the proper way to spray the perimeter of your home. Let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to prepare your yard. Turn your sprinkler system off if you have one, move light objects off the exterior walls of your home by at least two feet, and wait until your yard is completely dry before spraying. Now that our yard is prepared, the next thing you're gonna do is put on your protective equipment. Safety glasses, disposable gloves, a long sleeve shirt, pants, and closed toed shoes. Now that we're protected, it's time to prepare the spray. Fill the spray tank halfway with water, add the pesticide, then fill the remaining half of the spray tank with water and seal the lid. Now, depending on the type of spray tank you have, there's actually two ways to mix pesticide into the water. The first way is you have a manual pump sprayer. You're gonna pick it up and shake it back and forth until the solution is evenly mixed. I typically recommend shaking it back and forth anywhere between 50 to 100 times to really mix in the pesticide with the water. If you have an electric sprayer, there's this really cool trick you can use to mix the pesticide into the water without actually having to pick it up and shake it back and forth. Open the lid on the spray tank. Set the power to the highest setting. Take the wand and put it into the tank and then press the trigger. This will circulate the spray back into the tank, mixing the pesticide into the water. I typically recommend holding this for about one minute. Now that our spray is mixed, it's time to treat the house. If you never sprayed pesticides before, I recommend spraying with water first to get a feel for it before adding the pesticide into the spray tank. When spraying the outside of your home, start at one corner and work your way around the entire perimeter. This will prevent pests from being able to enter from all sides. Spray one foot up the exterior walls and one foot out onto the ground. Spray vent screens, gaps where pipes penetrate the wall, window frames, door frames, and if you live in a one-story house, you can also spray the eaves. Depending on how large your house is and the type of spray tank you're using, this whole process shouldn't take more than 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Now here are some safety precautions to take when spraying outside. One, don't spray above your waist while it's windy, otherwise the wind could blow the spray into your face. Two, when spraying above your head, make sure to position yourself out of the way of falling spray. And three, after you're done spraying, keep children and pets inside until the spray is fully dry, which typically takes between 30 minutes to one hour. Once the spray is dry, then it's perfectly safe. I recommend spraying your home once every three months. This will prevent most pest infestations from occurring. If you have a lot of trees, bushes, or plants around the immediate perimeter of your home, I also recommend granulating. If you don't know what granulating is, I'll create a future video explaining it. Now the best pesticides to use when doing a barrier treatment around the perimeter of your home are general insecticides. These will ensure maximum protection against the largest number of pests. The pesticide I like to use is called Tempo SC Ultra. It controls over 100 different pests and has a 90 day residual, making it perfect for quarterly pest control. If you prefer a more natural pesticide, the pesticide I recommend is called the Century IC3. I'll get into the pros and cons of a chemical based versus natural pesticide in the future, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. If you found this video valuable, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for more do-it-yourself videos just like this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you'd like to learn my full method to prevent pests from entering your home, then visit PestNinja.com to download my free general pest prevention guide, where I show you my complete step-by-step -step process to protect your home from pests. I put a lot of work into these guides, so I hope you find them helpful. I'll see you next time.